right, we're back, we're doing it. Uh-huh, honey. Uh-huh, honey. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Peyton Sky. I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based in New York City. So, as you guys can tell by the title, we're doing something a little different today. We, I just, there's, there's a lot happening. There's a lot going on. So, I have been really wanting to do, I mean, where should I start? Where should I start? I have wine, clearly. So, I haven't, by the time this video comes out, I have thought about what I wanted to title this series on my channel but I've been really wanting to do more videos that showcase my personality and one of the things that I'm really passionate about is giving advice and I feel like a lot of people ask me for my advice or my opinion on things and I love it like I love to give advice I love to share my opinions I love to really showcase different sides of situations that people probably have never thought of and I that's how I live my life and I live my best life so I think you should do too <laughs> but honestly though I really wanted to I was sitting with my friend the other day and I was telling him about you know some things in his life and his purpose and everything and after we talked he told me that he felt so inspired and that I really should bring this to my channel because more people need to hear this more people need to experience this and when he told me that I just was like wow why did I never think to put this on my channel before? So here I am. I really want to transition my channel into more of me, my personality. And I feel like what I was doing before was stuff that I've seen that that I know I could do, but I wasn't really passionate about it as much. And I feel like this is something that I am very passionate about. I love it. I love to I love just talking to people and making them feel the best that they could feel or making them feel, you know, just truly aligned with their purpose and there's so much there's so much to talk about so yeah welcome welcome to my channel welcome to my new channel i'm excited i'm very excited um i know i was a little mia i have a lot going on i'm moving i'm trying to get a moving vlog up for you guys but it's hard <laughs> moving sucks i hate it anyways i'm moving i was dealing with a lot this past month um from switching jobs again to your breakup and you know I am literally turning a chapter in my life where I'm single I started a new job that's amazing and I'm moving to a new apartment all within a month it's been a lot so I think it was appropriate for me to dedicate that time to myself and to not put so much pressure on myself to post on social media to be on social media so I took some time off I really feel like I'm ready to come back because I just feel so empowered to do this and yeah I'm drinking wine so wine will be involved in all of these videos because why not I don't know if you guys can see but this glass has my name on it let me see if you can see it can you see I don't think you can see it this is Peyton's guy oh you guys see it right there right Ew. I got that from two exes ago. Yum. I only drink white wine. This is Riesling. Um, I'm obsessed with it. So I really debated for a long time if I wanted to bring this to a podcast or stay on YouTube. And I'm going to be real with you. I have never even listened to one podcast in my life. And so I don't really feel like it would have been genuine for me to start a podcast if I've never even listened to a podcast or anything like that. And so... I think I could totally bring this to YouTube and sit and chill and have like our wine nights and you know really connect because there's other things I still want to do I still want to bring you guys my hauls I still want to show you my life in New York City I I want to show you that part but this is going to be you know something else that I bring so typically I don't really like sit down type of videos but this isn't really like that and I don't think it'll be like that so you know eventually bigger picture I want to bring people on I want to host I want to have a conversation and I really want you guys to leave some opinions down below I know that this is something this is going to be a, a field or a topic or something that will generate buzz um, even if it's five people watching it's something that it's not everyone's cup of tea 
And so I just ask that the opinions that you share are kind and nice and that what I say isn't facts. It Well, to me it's facts. But it's not... This is all in good fun. I'm not here to come for anybody. I'm not here to, you know, say things. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't agree, that's your opinion. If these are my opinions, and that's exactly what they are. Disclaimer. So yeah, if you guys are excited and you're ready to hear what I gotta talk about, girl, then just keep on watching. Guys, we're here. This is episode one. We're gonna be chatting it up. We are going to be talking and, 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 you know, I really wanted to give my advice on some things because there's been a lot of talk lately. So obviously you guys can see by the title what we're talking about and what I really have been talking about lately and the buzz lately, like this wasn't going to be my first video that I chose, but this has just been circulating everywhere and I really felt like I need to talk about it because I have such a strong opinion about it. So I want to talk about the Lori Harvey theory of dating and you're probably like what what does that even mean but as you guys know Lori Harvey she is she is you know Lori Harvey she's fabulous she's gorgeous and she was dating Michael B Jordan for the longest time and I was hating because one I thought the relationship was fake and two I am obsessed with Michael B Jordan and so I was being a hater but recently they broke up and I never really read articles or anything like that but the talk of the town was that they broke up because he wanted to continue the relationship whether that's getting married or moving in together or whatever and she didn't want that she wanted to live her best life date be young and so they broke up this has been a conversation that it's everywhere child like so many opinions and it's so funny to me that the hatred that is coming from men right now against this poor girl and they like i just feel like pretty women who date men and they're young and they're young they're in their 20s get a lot of hate because if if a man wants something then they have to comply and i think that's the biggest thing that i'm taking away from all of the comments and all of the things that i've been seeing is that People are saying that Lori Harvey is selfish, that she wasted his time, that, you know, they, she never really wanted the relationship to begin with, but it's kind of insane to me that people will think that without realizing what they're saying. So just because Michael B. Jordan, Mike, Mikey, just because he wanted to continue on the relationship and they had that conversation, mind you, we are not in their relationship, right? I'm not, definitely I'm not, you aren't unless you're you know but we're not in the relationship so our opinions really don't matter at the end of the day Get some wine. but we really don't know the conversations that they've had we really don't know what went down in their relationship right all I know is is that if Michael B Jordan wants to continue the relationship Lori Harvey must comply and must do that because that's what he wants and so just because she has a voice and she doesn't want to do that she is a whore she's a hoe she's she's wasting his time she's for the streets whatever and this has just been so wild to me women are allowed to have their own thoughts and opinions I know this is crazy I know this is like weird and crazy to hear but women are allowed to say no. I don't think that the relationship was a waste of time because everything is a blessing, everything is a lesson, and everything is an experience, right? So you need to be in that mind space and you need to be in that time, in that place, and in that relationship for a reason. So I feel really strongly about this because I am the type of person that if I don't see, how should I word this? <laughs> I'm the type of person to live my best life I live my life how I want um, nobody can dictate how I live my life and so if it was me and I'm, if I'm in a relationship and the person wanted to continue on the relationship talking about kids marriage moving in together it's a no for me I I'm just not there in my life and I, that's where I feel like I really, I really agree and I really sympathize with Lori Harvey because I get it. Like, 
I'm d I'm dating and I'm having fun and I'm not trying to settle down. I'm 26. I'm not trying to settle down, get married, have kids. That's not my life. That's not my life. And I don't see that self. I don't see those things for myself 10 plus years. Like it's just it is what it is. So I think casual dating is okay. And I do think that dating someone, you know, I've always had this this thought before I even was in a relationship with my ex and you kind of meet people that change your life right you meet people that change your mind you meet people that you know you're willing to give more of your time to and so you kind of stop for a little bit you settle you date you see what it's like but then if it's if he's the one he's the one right you know it you're done but if you're trailing along and it's just not working for you where why am i still in this relationship and that's like been my biggest thing it's like she doesn't see a, she doesn't see a future with him right now she doesn't want to take that next level and so it's okay for her to take a step back and live her best life i'm that girl i will live my best life that's how i want to live my life i'm young i have so many goals to attain and i just don't really see a man you know in my in my life right now and it's okay so uh, one of the things i wanted to really chat about is do we settle? Are we settling in relationships? Because let's say that she did move to that next step with Michael B. Jordan, right? They're, they move in together and then they're married and then they have kids. This whole time, sis is not gonna be happy. She's not gonna be happy. No, she's not. She decided right now before wasting his time that you know what, I don't want these things and I'm good. Like maybe you can find that with someone else but it's not for me. You live, you experience life, you experience people, but for me, I need constant change. I need, I need literally new things in my life. I need new places to live, new experiences, new people. And I don't know if that's the Aquarius in me, it's the air sign in me. If you're an air sign, you know, you need constant change. Like we constantly need something different. I can't be in the same spot doing the same thing over and over again. I'm just not that girl. I want to live life and live it full and live it like to the fullest capabilities i don't think that women should be judged for that women are allowed to have an opinion and speak up for themselves and put their foot down if i don't want to move in with you it's not happening if i don't want to take that next level with you it's not happening and if that involves a breakup then it is what it is it is what it is so i read something on instagram during this time um and i had posted it on my story and it kind of got a little bit of um bounce back or critique and it was it said if anything women should date like Lori Harvey you like what you like and when it's no longer giving be done with it you're not married a hundred percent one thousand percent people are experiences if it's not giving if you're not doing what I need you to do if oh my god if you're not doing what I need you to do and if I don't feel like I can be that person for you then it's over like we have to move on because i feel like one thing that you really realize as an adult is that you have to just be realistic and you have to just push through like if you realize i'm not gonna sit in a relationship if i don't know i mean things take time and i understand that things take time but if i'm treading along in this relationship and it's not giving what it needs to give why am i still in it why what's the point there's millions of people out there there's millions of men out there. There's millions of experiences out there. Why settle and hope that it gets better? Like, am I making sense? Because, because I'm not about to settle in this relationship when I know that there could be something better for me. And I'm not saying I'm switching relationships every five minutes. Before I was in a relationship with my ex, I was single for three years. Like. I really am a single person and I prefer to be single because one, I'm career driven. Two, I just don't, people bother me. <laughs> Men bother me. I don't, I don't want to deal with it. I, I don't want to deal with it. I just want to be alone. Like, I just really feel like men right now, for me, can serve one purpose because like, I don't want to, I'm going to talk my shit, but I can handle myself. I'm really independent. I have very big goals and I'm very driven and I'm going to accomplish everything in life and I just feel like I don't really need a man and I don't know some could say this is daddy issues some could say this is insecurity 
whatever but I just really don't feel like the girls that say you know I want a man I need a man I just I can't relate <laughs> by the way I am a lightweight you guys I did not eat anything today and I'm drinking wine so the wine helps I don't know I don't know if I'm crazy I just really don't feel that women have to date or be in a relationship if if it's not giving 100% of what they need. I think that's the fine line when I feel like people are all saying that like Lori wasted his time when I'm like how does she waste his time when they both were equally giving in the relationship and then when he wanted to push a little bit more she didn't want that so they broke up. To me it makes 100% sense what she did like I really don't understand the disconnect or anything like that but um because I just feel like I'm the exact same way. You never know who God is going to bring into your life. The next person I see on the street could be the love of my life. And I'm not totally against it. And I will experience that human. I will experience you and I want to experience you. And I want to see what you like and what you can give me and what I can give you. But if it's not giving, baby, I'm going. Because, like, I just don't have time. And if it's meant to be, it will be again. But it's not right now. So I'm moving on. Like, that's just how I see it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, like, making all the sense, but that's just really, I, I feel so strongly about that. Women really can have their own power and their own voice, and this isn't the 1920s. This isn't back in the day. Women don't have to comply to everything. Women don't have to comply to men, and I'm not saying I'm a feminist or anything like that, but I just really believe in women power, and I really feel like women have the control. Men, honestly, like, Yo, men will switch from girl to girl to girl if it's not giving they're not even gonna tell you they just gonna leave your ass like that's just how it is but like when a woman decides that a relationship isn't good for her and she leaves oh my god it's like the world's ending like i just don't i don't understand the it's it's a what's the word it's a double standard in my opinion because if Lori wanted to continue on in the relationship and michael didn't it would be fine if he broke it off and she wanted to get married he would have been like nah like and and everyone would have been fine with it right but when he does that and she decides i'm good then like it's not okay and like to me it's just like it's just kind of it's crazy and it just couldn't be me i just really feel like women it's okay to say no it's okay to put your foot down it's okay to not be on the same page in a relationship if you're not feeling it if you're not 100 percent in it get out girl because there's so many people out there for you like do not limit yourself do not settle you need to be 100 percent in the relationship and if you're not get out <laughs> like i don't know how to say it i just really feel like women you need to have a voice and you need to be strong and don't feel bad for feeling what you feel don't feel bad for feeling like I don't want to be in this relationship. Don't feel bad for feeling like I'm ready to move on. Don't feel guilty because it's your life, baby. It's your life. Even if that person aids you and helps you and develops you, you know, your relationship could be something different. It doesn't have to be a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be something completely different. If it's not giving, then get out. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I feel very strongly about it, and I, I'm proud of her. I'm proud of Lori Harvey for doing that. You know, her breakup was very public, and I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't imagine doing that. But good for her. She raised her voice. She put her foot down, and she decided that, you know, I'm not ready to be in this relationship in my life. I'm young. I'm hot. I want to live my best life. And if that involves being outside, then be outside, girl. Like, it's okay. Be outside. Like, if that's your life and if that's what you want to do, do it. Like, what is stopping you? It's okay to be confident. It's okay to feel like you have control of your life. And if a man is ready to move forward with you and, and wants to marry you and wants to have kids with you and you're not ready, leave. Because you're not going to waste his time anymore. Like, he told you what he wants. If you're not on the same page, do not force it. Do not pretend. Do not go along with it if you're not 100% in it because next thing you know you're it's going to be three four five ten years down the road and you have you're married with kids and you're unhappy never live your life that way because life is short and I'm not going to waste any of my time you know ever I'm not going to waste my time ever and I really feel like right now my focus is me and my career and 
I see a man later in my life when I can kind of slow down and give him the time and the attention he deserves because right now it's not happening. I really feel like women, like you guys, we have so much power. We have so much power. We have so much authority and we don't know it. And like, we don't have to conform to what these men want. We don't, we don't have to conform. Like if you want to live your best life, live your best life, sis. Like, please, please live your life for me and I'll live my life for you. Okay, cool. I hope that this is making sense and it's not all over the place because what the message I really want to get across is the fact that women were strong. We can have an opinion. We can have a voice, we can put our foot down, and we don't have to comply and do what the men in our lives want. We don't have to do that. Like, this is 2022, the roles have changed. Live your best life. It's okay to say no if you don't wanna move forward. If you don't wanna move in together, you can say no. If you don't want to get married, you can say no. Even, you don't even have to fully break it off and leave it away, like, if you think that this is something that you could develop later in life, like, you know, let's not move in together now, but maybe in a few months, for me, I'm like, nah, because I feel like I can always tell if I would want to live with someone or want to get married and like, it's never, never, it's never happening. <laughs> I feel so strong. I feel strongly about that because I know that like, no one can make me do things that I wouldn't want them to do. Wait, no one can make me do things I don't want to do. And I feel like this is happening at a time right now where I kind of just went through something like this and like... It's okay. It's okay to not want those things. It's okay to just not want that. It's okay to just not want a relationship. It's okay to just change your mind. It happens and it's okay. You know, some people date to marry. Some people date for fun. Some people date because they don't know what the hell it's gonna be. And like, that's me. Like, I prefer not to date, but if I find someone that I really like and fuck with, like, I'm gonna give them my time, attention, and see where it goes. Like, live day to day. But if it's not giving any more, I'm out. Like, because why? Why stay in something that's not giving me what I need it to give? And it's okay. It's fine. As women, it's fine. Like, we can, we can do that. I don't know. I'm rambling. I just feel very strongly in the fact that women just have their own power. And don't feel bad for feeling the way that you do. Don't feel bad for living the life that you want to live. Don't feel guilty for saying no to things that you don't want. Just live your true life and live your best life and be honest with yourself. Be honest with your partner. Be honest with the relationship because if it's not something that you see for yourself in the long run, then you have to make those necessary steps and think about, okay, so what's next for me? Is it a breakup? Is it me kind of staying out and figuring it out? Or is it marriage? You gotta think about those things, girl. Like, think about those things and really decide because, like, you don't want to waste people's times and you don't want to waste your own time. It's not even about wasting his time. It's about wasting our own times because I'm not about to waste my time hopefully figuring out and thinking that things are gonna get better and thinking that I'm gonna get married to this man when I really don't want to. So, you have to be honest with yourself because it's your life and you have to live your life the way you want to live it. It's really, like, it's simple. It's simple. Let me know what you guys think down below. Be honest, be nice. I I feel like I have been talking for five minutes, but I haven't been, I've just been talking. But these are just the things that I just talk about all the time. And this is why this feels comfortable and this is why this feels right, right? But yeah, let me know your comments down below. Let me know your opinion on the relationship, you know? I want to have a conversation and I will because, <laughs> guys, I've been like, people have been commenting on like Facebook and stuff and saying their opinions and I will write them long messages telling them why they're wrong. <laughs> Not why they're wrong, but like, I want men especially to see different sides of it, right? And I feel like once you put into perspective, like, okay, if you're not happy in a relationship, if, if I wanted to marry you and you didn't want that, you would tell me that you didn't want that, right? And then you'd probably break up with me because that's not what you want. You don't want to get married, but I do. So why are you with me if I want to get married and you don't, right? You got to be real. You got to be honest, guys. You got to be realistic. You have to be realistic so okay guys i'm feeling good i'm feeling great let me know your comments down below i'm so grateful for this and i just really feel like this is such a good segment into what i want to bring to this channel which is my my raw uncut it is cut because i'm editing it will be edited but just my opinions on life and you know this is more of an opinionated video but my next video is going to be very much um advice driven 
and let me know down below you guys on topics that you want me to talk about advice that you need um when this gets bigger i would love to just have like an advice column and like whatever you guys want to know or ask let me know because i'm very opinionated i have a i have a strong mindset i'm very very strong in my ways um i will listen to it i will listen to you and i will hear your side because why would i expect you to hear my side if i wasn't gonna listen to your side right but i'm down for a conversation i want to know what you guys think and yeah let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate the love support don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Do I look drunk? Hope not.